Hey everyone, what's going on? It is Hitting Blitz or Justin, and welcome back to some more Agrarian Skies, which is the modded Skyblock map. And this is a little bit of a pre roll behind the actual gameplay because uh, for the first, let me actually see exactly how long it was, for the first 28 minutes and 42 seconds, yeah, I realized that my mic was not recording the entire time. Now, I did some pretty important stuff throughout these almost 30 minutes worth of footage, and I was pretty annoyed that they kind of got. It's not really lost, but it's here, as you can see, just with no audio. And, you know, who wants to watch something like the Modded Skyblock map with no audio? I personally wouldn't enjoy it. I don't really know. I mean, I might. it really just depends on what would be happening. But when I'm just standing there, not moving, where in the actual commentary as I'm explaining something, that wouldn't be entertaining to watch. So if I'm just ever standing somewhere, you know, just explaining something, people watching would be like, why is he just standing there? What's he doing? So... I thought it kind of got lost, so then I recorded another 32 minutes, or 32 minutes if I can speak properly, of Agrarian Skies, and um, important things happened this episode, so realistically, I recorded a good 1 hour and 40 minutes of Agrarian Skies tonight. Um, the first little bit that had no audio, Kevin on Twitter, uh, he gave me like the best idea ever, you're probably seeing the tweet on screen, to just time lapse it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some music down, probably put some personal on it, maybe just a monster cat, maybe a mix of the two. I'm not really too sure how, the t how long the time lapse will be, but um, I will probably also throw a timestamp on the video if you guys just want to skip over it. Well, I, no, I'm not actually going to do that because I think it's kind of important to still watch the beginning. Even if you don't like the music, I think it's still important to see what I'm doing, even though it's sped up, because it's still pretty important. So um, I'm going to go ahead and time lapse it, throw some music behind it, and you guys will see what I did, um, how I did it. I kind of really wish the mic was there, but it didn't record, and I talk about it in the secondary half that actually has my commentary on it. So I'm probably going to cut that up a little bit because I was kind of talking about it in the beginning, so I'm going to cut that out a little bit because I'm doing this pre-roll. So um, this pre-roll has been quite long, but um, yeah, if you guys do enjoy Grand Skies, make sure you guys make sure you guys drop a like rating. I can't speak tonight. It's 1 in the morning. I've had a bad day. So, yeah, um, yeah. Drop a like if you guys do enjoy. Show the if you guys really do enjoy. Subscribe to my channel to see more agrarian skies, my skyblock every other day. And I will talk to you guys later. Enjoy the time lapse. Enjoy the video, guys. Peace out. Thank you. 
And anyways, to get the comments out of the way, because, you know, I've kind of already went over what they were and done what they described doing in the pre previous 30 minutes. So, uh, one, Bailey Morgan. Also, I want to uh, just comment on everyone that knows, like everyone that watches these videos, you guys all know that I put your comments that are helpful in the video itself. And um, everyone who sees those informative, really helpful comments that would actually help me and better my play style and just playing time in a skies, when you see those comments, you guys actually thumb them up so you know, or so I know, and have an easier time to see them that it's important and informative. So I just want to thank you guys all for that. You guys really like this is the best subscribers. And this is honestly like the most interactive series, as well as probably my favorite series I'm doing right now. So I just want to say thank you guys to that and also explain that a little bit. So Bailey Morgan said that the drying racks were taking long because they were covered by the roof, so I went to move them. And um, I've collected a bunch more mob drops since then. Um, Jacob Battershell said that I can com combine glowstone and micro blocks to make glowstone. And also, a bunch of you guys told me that the glowstone nooks were actually pretty decent uh, sources of light. Also, I'm not moving because I want to show you something that I want to do after I read all these comments. Um, next up, EJ Hanna said that uh, to re uh, recommend the sword with silk touch instead of the fish because the sword with silk touch can pick up mycelium. Once I get ancient spores, which by the way I gave up on because I sieved about 40 to 50 uh, sand, not to mention all the other sand I sieved throughout the previous episodes. Still have not gotten ancient spores, don't know why. Um, and the very last comment was all Hansen, and he was saying for my iron deficiency I should make the smeltery because two of any of the broken, crushed, and or pulverized iron will smelt into an ingot's worth of metal. So, the plan for this episode was to complete... Um, Fungus Among Us. Could not get ancient spores. Can't do it. Um, also, tons of you guys told me to move my barrel to the actual um, unlimited water source, which I did. So, the other goal I decided to do was kind of work towards the whole Tinker's Construct smeltery, which I did. I built all of this on camera and did all this on camera. Had some had some faults. Um, kind of forgot exactly what had to go where. I forgot about ca the, ca the casting table and the casting uh, basin. Forgot how the faucets worked, so I kind of had to cut and work around all that stuff. Um, I obviously harvested more of this stuff. I did a lot of it off camera, the harvesting, the grout. But um, I did a lot of this, obviously, on camera. And, yeah. So, here's the smeltery of Tinker's Construct. I really hope you guys know how to make it or how to do it, because I unfortunately can no longer show you guys how to do it, considering that footage is there. I could technically show you, but there'd be no audio. So you wouldn't really hear, like, me having to, you know, cut and just do all that kind of stuff. So, it's really unfortunate that it happened, but, I mean, I guess... In recordings and just doing YouTube, it does happen from time to time where you just don't get everything perfect. Things do go awry and mics do not record. Um, not really the best. Can't really do anything to really stop it. I don't know why it didn't record. 
But um, anyways, so what this is doing is this is melting our dust into um, the liquid of the ore, which the liquid can then be drained from this drain through the faucet into the casting basin, which will end up uh, creating a block. So I'm making iron right now. I'm um, obviously you saw I put pulverized or crushed iron in there, and I also put all my pulverized iron in there. And once this fills up, it should actually let's show it should theoretically turn into an iron block, which we will then get nine iron ingots out of. Let's find out. Come on, baby. That's actually really cool. And yes, there we go. There's a block of iron. There's iron iron ingots. That's how this works. And we should actually hopefully be able to get one more. Um, we have one ingot in there. We probably actually won't. But I think we do have some more iron because even broken iron gets going to it. So this is also how we make some casting stuff, which is like, uh, where is it at? Right here for this, the casting call. We probably, whoops, did not mean to right click. Probably will need this kind of stuff for all this kind of stuff to actually make and outline the things indicated here. So yeah, that's pretty much what we covered in the last 30 minutes that you did not see. Very unfortunate, I do apologize that it did happen, but like I said, can't really change anything. Also, we have so much food, it is ridiculous. Um, I have bred more mushrooms, I have made more charcoal. We actually bought one more, so there's more charcoal. As you can see, here's all the stuff I've gotten from sieving so much sand, which I guess is actually worth it because I'm getting all the, the ores here, which I can then make into actual ores with our amazing smuttery. Um, yeah, we have this, this much wheat. Yeah, we have a lot of wheat, so we pretty much have a lot of toast. Um, we have some ingots now, so we can actually go ahead and make some shears, which we can then use to grab ourselves some leaves and then we can make dirt out of the leaves. So we should be good to go for a little bit. Um, this is where everything's gonna get way easy and just, well, yeah, just way easy, honestly. Um, so this will end up making dirt, which is awesome. Um, can we sieve this? No, we cannot, just want to see. Any more lava in here? Yes, there is, but I can't put anything. Can we put cobblestone in to make more? Um, we can, but uh, it's gonna do this weird thing. I don't understand how this works, honestly. No, okay. Um, how much more iron do we have? Uh, we have two more broken iron, and then an iron ingot, and iron ore dust, so hopefully the, uh, the broken iron will be able to get enough to where we can get one more block. So that'd be nice, and um, <clears throat> all right, let's do this. Let's put the broken iron ore in there. Boom, let's see how much we get, hopefully, come on. Make a block, make a block, please. I don't want to waste iron. Oh gosh. We may have to sieve some more sand just to get some more pulverized and or broken and or crushed iron ore just so we can actually make take full advantage of the iron. Cause I don't think two more is going to fill it up. Let's give ourselves another iron block. So what we could do now is kind of work towards the casting call. So on this one, we actually do need to use the QDS to do. So I have to select the task here and then go ahead and attach it to our QDS system. So casting call is now in there. So for the casting call, we need to make an iron cast, or an ingot cast rather, and a pickaxe head cast, which is made by, I believe finally using our tool stations. I kind of want to do this all near this area because this is like the tenuous contract area. I like to, I like to think, how close are we? Pretty close. Okay, let's, um. Do this right here. Now that's how you build it. We can get some stuff here. I believe we need a blank pattern to do that, which, if I'm not mistaken, is something like. Um, what does this do? Copy station. We don't really need that. Um, here we go. Come on. Come on. Nope. It won't. That's not going to make an iron block. We're going to need to sip some more sand to do that. We can do that later, though. We don't really need the iron too. Well, actually. If we actually get all the iron and we can start doing some more Hell's Kitchen quests, we can actually make all this stuff and get another full heart. Um, could do that, but I kind of really want to get this done. Let's see, what else do we have here for Tinker's Construct? Um, Crafting Station, we have pretty much two of those now. We actually have like three now, because there's one right there too. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. All right, so blank pattern. How do you make that again? I know it's easy mode. Um, blank pattern. Okay, that's how. It, that's what it is. I just forgot about that. So, um, make a couple of those, and then we need. Uh, okay, let's actually just do this. Right? Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. We probably need a blank cast, which is made by Mullen Aluminum. Ouchies. Um, let's see if I just do this. Ingot, 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 ingot. Yeah, well, 
ingot cast made by brick with molten aluminum brass wait a second how does that even work or iron or gold so wait a second um i'm a little confused for that one let's just do this right fast i want to see something um tool rod pickaxe head what else do we need here we do need the pickaxe head so we should take that and then tool rod let's look for an ingot one what does it look like again? Okay, it's just like it's really just big and cut. Um, let's see, ingots, 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 ingots. Was that it right there? No, that's a broad axe. Let's see. Cause I'm pretty sure. No. Yeah, that's how that works. And then we would then put something over that. Um, could we actually? I don't want to waste iron. I need okay. I need to get our sand here and hopefully get some more iron. Um, be convenient. I don't want copper. Please give me iron. Of course, when I want iron, it's not gonna give it to me. I bet. Oh, didn't give it to me. Fantastic. Um, whoops. I don't want to do that actually. And yeah, nothing. Nothing important. Fantastic. <clears throat> there's really no iron. Out of all this stuff in here, there's no iron besides the actual ironing it. And the iron ore dust. Um, would that actually do it? I'm just wondering if I can put iron ore dust in here, because that's that's still iron. Okay, let's see if it let's see if it turns into iron ore. I, I still think we're gonna lose some, but it's better than not losing some, I guess. Um, I'm probably gonna not be able to do this one entirely. I'll probably. Uh, because the pickaxe head cash, I, I cast rather, I should be able to make from that. I couldn't find an ingot cast thing. And I like how I get them back as a reward. And I guess I'll take the liquid slime bucket. I don't really know what that does, but um, I should probably read this actually. All right, so to create more powerful tools and weapons, you will need to make casts for forming uh, molten metal into tool parts. Use the wooden patterns to make stone parts of the tool pieces you wish to make casts of. Use the wooden patterns to make stone parts. Um, right click a casting table with a stone part and pour aluminum brass or gold over them to form casts. So right click a casting table with a stone part. What does that even mean? Here's a cat here's a casting table. Is this a stone part? Um We have to right click it with or we have to pour aluminum brass or gold over them. And a seared brick or regular brick will make an iron cast. Or, okay, there we go. So a seared brick or regular brick will make an ingot cast, combine cast parts into tools with a tool, sta tool station or a tool forge. Is this done? Yes, it is, please. Oh, 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 was it enough? Was it enough? Are you kidding me? We like need one thing. Oops, oh my God, that's ridiculous. If I could just get one, um, oh my gosh, I need to get some sand. I just, uh, I don't want to waste that. It's so close to having another nine iron. I don't, I don't want to just throw that away. Because I believe we could probably make iron armor if we needed to and actually fight. It's obviously a big possibility. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, I'm going to sand. Hopefully I just get one iron. I've been now watch watch me get the the ancient spores now, which I wouldn't complain about. I'd still enjoy that, but it'd just be ironic if we get them now. Um, I got silver and something else. We got aluminum, something else. We got certes quartz, something else. Limestone, something else. Um, something. I think that was certes again, and then we got nickel. All right, so crush tin certes. Thank you, iron. Thank you so very much. Boom. Okay. I'm actually only going to put one in, see if it will be enough. Our monster jerky is nice and changed. So let's put just one in now. Hopefully it should be enough to fit. And then I guess we'll make some aluminum and pour it over that pickaxe head. And right, so a loo. Okay, so we have some decent aluminum. Uh, let's just take this, 
Should be good enough. We're gonna need to actually sieve a bunch more sand, as a matter of fact, just so we can start getting more and more of this dust. Alright. Uh, eat all this right now. No reason to waste anything else. We actually do have a lot of mushrooms now, so we could keep mushrooms doing because we have a lot of mushrooms, but I don't really want to. Um, almost done, almost done. You're really close. I believe that will yield us with another iron block. I would think we only need like a tiny, tiny bit more in there, which is nice. I mean, it's nice to find a lot of iron because I know some people were a little mad that I made the bucket over the shears, but it doesn't matter now because next episode. I have the shears as well as a crap ton of leaves so we can make a, a nice amount of dirt. Okay, tell me that's enough. Tell me that's enough. Come on, baby. Come on. Thank you, sir. Boom. Alright, so now what we need to probably do is put some aluminum. I don't know how much we need, so let's just do three for now. Well, four, apparently. I guess I thought it lagged and didn't put the fourth one in there, but apparently it lagged and did put it in there. Fantastic. Alright, let's go. So now we have 17 more iron. Uh, iron ore. Let's actually go ahead and put some more leaves to work. We don't really need leaves for much else, I don't think. At the very least, they're really easy to get. And they're a way more effective source for... For, um, dirt rather than saplings. We can finally conserve our saplings. Not like we really need to, because we do have a lot of them. Because every single time, I believe I said this either in this episode or the episode that's lost. But, um, prep time takes me quite a long time to do for this um this series. I usually get on the server and then I prep for about 30 minutes to an hour. Depending on what I need to do. This one took about 40 minutes, so it was kind of in between. But um yeah. I usually do prep for a little bit. So try and make sure these things are still good to go. There we go. Almost night time. Let's see how the aluminum is coming. Maybe I will see if we can actually get our, our casting done. So no, that's, that doesn't work like that, then. So I'm not, is, maybe it's just not enough. Uh, let's just throw the rest in there. Maybe it's not enough, I don't really know. I honestly think, before I start to waste something, I should either, one, look up on the wiki, or two, in the episode and ask you guys about it. Um, some more dirt. Let's go ahead and get more and more and more dirt, because why not? Not like we're actually at a sort shortage of leaves. Well, now we are, but not like it matters. So those in here, seeds in here. We have over two stacks of seeds. It's a bit much. Saplings will go in here. Don't know really why I made that other crafting bench, but I did. So I have to deal with it. Okay. Kind of mob situation. Also, I will be making. A um, full-on mob grinder here soon probably in the next maybe one or two episodes I'll make one but as of right now we really don't need it too much and also for those who kept telling me to put a roof on it I'm not gonna bother putting a roof on it because that way if I did put a roof on it I would have to go fight them and lose hunger because of fighting obviously takes up hunger doing this way it allows all of them to die for me sleeping literally me sleeping kills them and that's how that works. So, like right now, everything is dead. I'll be able to go collect a bunch of arrows, bones, and run flesh. Um, let's see. Yep, there's some arrows. There's a bone. And there's more bones. So, right there. Easy mode access. Didn't have to waste any attacking damage or attacking hunger or, you know, waste any durability or anything. And we got, well, besides experience, I guess we're losing out on, but who cares about experience, right? All right, boom. Put the arrows in here. Boom, and put our rotten flesh, which also, also I found out can be uh, barreled into dirt, which I did do, but it feels like it takes more than it should, so I didn't really bother with it too much. Okay, that's all done. We have six ingots, uh, four nuggets in there. Okay, I am going to go ahead and probably look on the wiki about that for now, because I don't want to mess up on anything. It would be nice to actually get a full block of aluminum right now, though. Which we're not going to get, because we don't have enough. Maybe the broken aluminum ore will give us enough, because the broken does get more, I believe. So, aluminum. Yep, there are three more broken aluminum. That might do some good work for us. And let's do that. Cool, cool. Oh, Tinker's Contract. It's a really cool mod. It really is. I just really never learned too much about the whole combining methods of the tables. I didn't really learn too much about that. I primarily knew a decent amount about the smeltery, 
I just had forgotten about needing to have this stuff down before you put the faucets on the drain. And since the challenge called for, you know, just one drain, I kind of assumed we only needed one, but we needed two, obviously. <clears throat> I guess realistically we didn't how it was going for, because I don't think it really expected us to do the casting basin. But we did because we're smart people and we needed that extra iron and that's not going to be a block. Is that a block? I don't think so. Are you a block? No. Okay. <laughs> Let us actually go ahead and finish the next Hell's uh, Kitchen quest so we get something done. We do have enough iron to do so. So let's back it out. Go to Hell's Kitchen. Go here. So we need a cutting board. Which I will look at in the crafting station just because it will be easier. Oh god, I probably shouldn't do this because it's all nasty looking. Ugh. Ugh. Crafting. Oh, wait, I'm looking for cutting board. Oh my gosh. Cutting board right there. Boom. Only need one. Useful though. Uh, next one we need a skillet. So let's just do a skillet. Boom, boom. Um, skillet it up. Next one we need is a mortar. And pestle, I think that said. Mortar and pestle. Uh, we don't have any actual stone on us. So we need to go ahead and smelt a decent amount of stone. Um, how did I get seared bricks from that? What? I thought I was smelting. I don't. What? Okay, there we go. I was looking at the wrong thing. My bad, as my air just turned on. Fantastic. Alright, so we already have one stone to make this process go a little faster. Boom. This, okay, so it's needed right there, right there, right there, and then, come on. Boom, shakalaka, there's the mortar and pestle, and the last thing we needed was the pot, which I think was the one thing, oh, actually, the mortar and pestle was the only thing we needed no iron. This one needed the most iron, I believe. Yep, needed four. All right, get this stuff back. And then let's claim the reward. Fantastic. Um, consume. Well, bam! We have five lives, and let's get a reward back going. It's good. Oh baby, we got some more decor. 1.73% chance of getting this reward. We have a lot of colored bricks, and we have no place to put said colored bricks. So, I guess we're gonna put them in the Tinker's Construct thing because I have nowhere else to put them. Fantastic. I'm sorry, Tinker's Construct. I will make more organized chesticles. I actually know one of them is uh, the, for the hoarding, which will be useful. And I forgot some. There we go. <clears throat> Thank you for the worthless reward. And it'll be cool in the future. I don't know. Spice it up. All right, so now we need uh, water and milk can be refined into various components that can then be further refined into uh, cheese. Uh, butter and cream, so we need butter, heavy cream, cheese, fresh water, fresh milk, and salt. We actually get a strong box, which is the same as this. I wonder if these can be combined. That'd be cool. <clears throat> Put you in here, because why not? Okay. Now, what can we do? Is all of this done, I believe, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's all done. It's already all... Okay, so we're not, not going anything there. We probably will need to make some actual, oh my gosh, 10 eggs. You guys are just going at it, laying the eggs. We probably will need to shear some of those moose shrimps and make them cows. But for now, we shall not do that. Okay, boom, there we go. It's a lot of, a lot of eggs. Okay. Oh, actually, we still have even more blocks I just bypassed looking. Put the iron back in here. So the skillets, we have all this stuff still. I just don't really know what it does. Why did I put, no, 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 come back. You go in there. Oh gosh, I need to organize soon. This is getting ridiculous. I need decor chesticles so I can put this kind of wood and these colored bricks. Cause that is not something I really care too much about. All right. I guess what we could do is, the only thing is like, I don't want to, I want to end the episode because I don't know how long it's been, even though I've been recording for so long. It's annoying that that happened. Okay. So, what else can we do? A task where the player can hand in items of fluids. I needed to use the QDS for that, which I'm already kind of using for a different quest, which is over here. Uh, I guess we could try and do the rubber. So we need to sieve dirt to get rubber 
Uh, seeds, I guess it would be. Since we already have rubber seeds. Which I don't think we do. No, we don't. Alright, let's go ahead and sieve some dirt. As we get some more dirt, actually. <clears throat> Come on, rubber seeds. That's a mana bean. That looks cool. And that was stone. A birch seed. A birch sapling seed. That's pretty cool. Um, lots and lots of stone. Rubber tree seeds. Woohoo! Sweet. And grass seeds again. So, okay, cool. We are good to go then. Um, rubber tree. Boom. Let's put the other. Mana bean looks cool. Okay, so rubber tree seed. Let us. How do we how do we use this? Oh, it just spawns a sapling. All right, cool. Let us go ahead and do. We need a tree tap. We have the tree tap now. All right, rubber sap. It's really from Mine Factory Reloaded. Huh. I should pay attention more to the mods that are in this mod pack because I really don't know any of them. All right, tree tap, tree tap, tree. Okay, now, will the crook act in the same manner on this as it would for other things? That's the question I'm wondering. Okay, well, that's not going to work when it destroys itself. Come on, let me tree tap something. Let me, yeah, I just, let me tree tap. Wait a second. Um, okay, so rubber seeds can be gotten by saving dirt, or if you prefer, you can craft rubber sapling by combining any slime ball on any sapling. Processing the rubber from these trees into plastic will start your step towards farming automation. Ooh, automation. That's definitely what I want to see. So we need to make plastic sheets, and plastic sheets are made by... Uh, four raw plastic, which is made by smelting rubber bars. Rubber bars are made by smelting balls of glue or raw rubber all right and how we get uh where is it at right here how we get um let's have a bucket of milk okay so once you have a cow place a bucket of milk in a barrel of water to get uh to create slime all right so we do need to go ahead and actually make some cows now okay let's um hiya okay Actually, did I even need to do that? I'm pretty sure I can get milk from any of these guys. I don't think that even mattered. <sighs> I'm good. I'm good. Don't worry about it. What in the world is that? What? I placed a bucket of milk in a barrel of water. What? Place a bucket of milk in a barrel of water to create slime. Okay, we're not going to rubber tree. I, is it taking a while? I don't. I, I'm just gonna leave it be for a little bit, I guess. So I can't treat up anything from here, and I guess I'll just have to cut her down. I don't know if a crook. Okay, yep, we got. Okay, we got something. Don't worry about it, guys. We are okay. We are okay. We will. We will be able to tap this tree, but we will be able to cut it down and get wood that translates to jungle wood. So technically, we can get jungle wood now, unless that is only a Dreamcraft thing, because I know rubber from Dreamcraft get smelted into jungle wood. Or rubber, yeah, that's what I said. Oh wait, we can just mine it to get raw. Okay, that's, okay, never mind. <laughs> My bad, I didn't know, I didn't know. Oh yeah, but, oh yeah, tree tapping is sticky resin. What am I talking about? Oh my gosh, I'm bad. Okay, we don't even need to do the slime thing, but whatever is good enough to try. All right, so what we can do now is smelt our, that's, I uh, need one more, I believe, okay. I seriously, seriously need to focus on getting some... Let's actually take all this wheat and make 21 bread. All right, so boom, boom, boom. Give me those back. Boom. Some apple juice. We should probably put our cutting materials in here because I believe this would be the place to go for that. Okay. Um, seeds going here. Saplings going here. Oh, I hear a slime. Thanks, buddy. I got three slime balls. Huh, that was interesting. Cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and probably sleep off the night. And then we will probably go ahead and 
make ourselves what we need to complete the next quest, which is uh, the plastic sheets, because we're about to get those really, really soon. Because then this um, plastic sheets, we just need to smelt again the raw or the rubber bar. Let's actually let's start carrying some charcoal on us at all times. Probably be nice. I know it's a waste of three, but I don't care. <clears throat> Limestone, put the raw rubber wood in there rather. Mm. Okay, more colored bricks that I keep not seeing somehow. I say this is special enough so slime balls will go there. Um, Tinker's construct stuff, you are going to stay up there. And rubber sapling. Okay, we don't actually need that one on us. I'll just place it. Yeah, we'll stay right there, I guess. Crook, we don't need you right now. Stone, I believe you have brothers here. Yes, you do. And then let's make all of this, all of that toast. All right. Fan, friggin' tastic. The task where the player has to craft a specific item. Um. Oh yeah, okay, boom, duh, duh. Hiya! Okay, so we have a quarter of a heart now, and then we have that. So I'm gonna try and keep all of the heart stuff in there besides these full hearts that are run. So, I guess we'll just put, eh, I need more room. I was gonna put it in there, plastic should go in there too, why not? We have a good reward bag, which is always nice to see. Hiya! We have more pearl oysters. We actually can combine those then. And there, we have 13 now. Okay, cool. That now opened up the ability to do nothing. All right, well guys, I'm gonna call it there because I think it's been a decently long episode after the fail of 30 minutes, not recording. Um, let's try and just, how'd you get out? You're dead. See that? See that other chickens? If you leave, you die. Boom, thank you. Hello, Creeper. How is your day going? Bad? Yes, yeah, so is mine. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys drop a like right We got some decently good stuff done this episode. We made the smeltery, we got a bunch of iron, we completed some Hell's Kitchen stuff. We need to get a little bit of aluminum to finish that up. Please tell me how I do uh, this, how do I make these and get them to work so I can, you know, claim, or not claim them, but to, uh, send them in to the QDS to actually get this reward done, or this quest. I can't even speak anymore. It's, um, it's almost one, like I usually is on a record. So, yeah, other than that, if you guys enjoyed... Um, show me if you guys really, really did enjoy, and subscribe to my channel if you're brand new, and I really messed up my outro there by being weird. I don't know. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a nice day, guys. Peace out.